Are we live, Jeffrey? Live. We are live. Okay, we're not talking about fishing today. Believe it or not, we're actually talking about the Bible. We're fishing Bible, same book, just a very cool picture on the front. So anyway, my buddy Vinny Donato, who's in our Bible study class, actually has Blue Water Brotherhood, bluewaterbro.com, where they actually, actually give out Bibles. So I want to say about six and a half years ago, I went to my cousin Fred. He's a pastor, Fred Gushu, and right now he's a pastor in Windshape, the Chick-fil-A ministry uh, program. Anyway, I said to Fred, man, I, I was at a low point in my life. I really needed to change my ways as not only a husband, but as a friend, as a, as a Christian. So I went to Fred and Fred says, man, why don't we just start having Bible study at the store, at the tackle store? And I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, let's, let's put it out there and see who comes. And if no one comes, it'll be me and you sitting there and the, you know, we can talk about it. And so I was a, an altar boy. I was raised Catholic. And, and I, I want to say I was an altar boy up until the time I was 14 or 15 years old. So I had familiarity with the stories, the names, but never really anything that stuck with me. It was just stories. You know, and, until you get maybe later in life where you go through some trials and things in your life, you're looking for something else and you're really you're seeking out something more than you, you did when you were a kid. But that's how it worked for me. And we, so we started this Bible study. Fred would come to the Bible study and we'd sit in the tackle store and Fred would, we started in Peter, um, fitting because we're fishermen. So we started in Peter and it, uh, right off the bat, there's a connection because it's, it's about fishermen and Jesus and the fishermen and the whole story as it goes on uh, being fishers of men and go out and pursue other men and people to join in the, you know, the kingdom of God. So long story short, we all kind of connected and glued with that Peter and so what happened was Fred would sit in the front of the room, he would read out of the Bible, we'd read a verse, and then Fred would basically say, what does that mean to you guys? Tell me what you, tell me what you think it means. So we'd all sit there like deer in the headlights, you know, a little nervous about even talking at that point because we weren't educated biblically at all. Um, so, so we would just start talking, what it meant to us. And sometimes we'd read three sentences and all of a sudden we'd spend an hour and we never got anywhere, but we'd go back and forth with the group and what this meant to my life and your life and how, how, how the story of Jesus Christ, you know, is really the same as we see today. So we kept doing this and then other pastors would come in. Tony Davis um, from Calvary Chapel, Fort Lauderdale would come in and he'd lead the, lead the group. Same thing where he'd sit in the front and he'd, he, he, charismatic guy, you know, man's man, awesome teacher, where we'd just sit there and we'd listen to him and we really didn't share a huge amount. We were really kind of, at that point, like I say, it's almost like when you look at a book like this and you look at some of this writing in the small print, it can be overwhelming. So I remember knowing the way my mind worked, how I really wanted to understand the intricacies of how the Bible worked, but I had never spent any time and it was difficult for me. So Tony and Fred had a really easy way of making you understand. Whether it was the Cliff Notes, these guys are biblically educated, so it made it really nice and these guys fish with us, so it was comfortable. We also had another pastor come in, Josiah Graves from the Exchange Church, and he would come in, same kind of guy, charismatic, knows the word, knows it really well. So over the few first few years, our Bible study grew from, let's say, four or five guys up until 40 guys or so sometimes. And what was happening was is that it was almost too many guys. You couldn't share really, you know, you'd, sometimes it would even turn into almost like an AA meeting with several of the people that were struggling with addiction or something like that. So what I will tell you is, is that after over the four or five years, we decided to keep it small group. Now, what happened was in the small group, and we weren't promoting it to bring people in, we needed to dig into the word. We needed to get in here ourselves and really get to a point where we had an understanding of, of scripture. So the last couple of years, we've really dug in. And I got to tell you, the best years of my life right now, just being immersed in the word, being able to, you know, do the best I can as a man, I'm a better husband to my wife and my, my family and my kids, my girls. So here's what's happening. So after the last two years, um, Fred goes away 
Tony's got jobs. And so we were forced as a unit, as a group of guys, to basically come to the tackle store and, and, and do it ourselves. So now what we're doing, and it's great, and this is what you'll be able to see if you watch, if you choose to watch and click. This is authentic. You come, we come to, into the tackle store, we sit down, maybe there's eight of us, maybe there's six, maybe there's 12, and we read a verse. Right now we're in Acts. We're at the end of Acts where Paul's getting ready to take a, a, a ship ride back to Rome and be tried. And it's so interesting because this ship ride is, is, makes me think of when I was on a long line boat years ago going down in the Yucatan Channel. These guys are out at sea for 14 days and they're going through all of these trials and their faith is, you know, half of the guys are, are soldiers, some of them are believers and, and a lot of them, we don't know what they were, it was a wheat ship. Anyway, really, really cool story, but we're in the story right now in Acts where we just, we fellowship, we talk, we, amongst each other. Now, sometimes we'll sit with a Bible that has, you know, it's got the actual scripture itself, and then it's got almost the cliff notes here where you can read at the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll sit down, we'll read this, we, we'll cover this. One guy's allowed to have this, the cheat sheet. So we'll actually, we'll read the Bible, then we'll go around the room, we'll talk about it. What does that mean to you, RJ? Oh, what does that mean to you, Vinny? Donato. And, and so we'll each give our interpretation of what we heard. Then the guy who's got the study Bible will actually say, hey man, this is what it meant. Over the years, we're getting better at interpreting what the stories mean. So it's been exciting to feel, each one of us feel like, hey man, we're growing. We're not the deer in the headlights anymore. And the more scripture you learn and the more you stay connected with the book, the more enjoyable it becomes. So that's what the Bible study is. When you watch it or you click to watch it, whether that's on bluewaterbro.com, that's on RJ Boyle Studio, or you're gonna see a link to a YouTube video. It might say Acts 27. It's gonna be an hour. We're gonna fellowship, we're gonna pray, we're gonna pray for people, we're gonna pray for ourselves. We're, I mean, we're all knuckleheads in here. Trust me, we've all done stupid stuff and we're, continue, we're gonna continue as sinners to do stupid stuff, but we're trying to become better. So understand this is authentic. What you're gonna see is us just sitting around, reading scripture and talking amongst fishermen. So I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. You can send us emails. You can reach out to me. And one of the things that reason, last reason I'll say this, a lot of guys reach out to me and say, hey man, I, I live in Destin or I live in Louisiana. I'd love to get a group of guys together, but I can't get there. Tell me how you guys do it. So what, this is a great way for you to see it. And again, you don't have to have 50 people. These are small group and small group churches that is all scripture based. Bible based. We're staying in the Bible. We're not adding to it. This isn't a, like a salad bar where you're you're adding things to the actual word. We're staying the word. We, we we fellowship. We share. And I gotta tell you, it's a safe place for us. I hope you enjoy it. If you got any questions, or you want to start this in your own place, your own hometown, you let me know. Send me an email. But enjoy this. Buckle up. It's really cool. <laughs>